I want to draw the attention of all the believers. Jesus is coming soon. I want to say this very clear. Many times we are putting ourselves in so much destruction of what we want on what the world is putting in our faces. But devil is closing our mind not to think that something is taking place. He knows the time are remaining few. Listen this. The next thing in the calendar of God is the rapture. Write that down. All the prophecies that have been spoken about the coming of Jesus have come to pass. There is none remaining. Rapture is something the Bible describes it like a thief coming at night. It's being described as a three level. One, as a blink of an eye. Two, like a lightning. Three, like a thief breaking your house at night. I want to ask this question for you here and for you who are following me. How often are you prepared for the rapture? The rapture does not mean the end of the world. The rapture is the end of the age. The age of grace. The age of acceptance, forgiveness, free forgiveness. That the beginning of rapture. Once the rapture takes place, the church, which means the master of the church, the Holy Spirit, finish the work. The church is gone. Can I hear me? If there is something you can always look for, is the coming of Jesus. Now, are you, do you normally think about that? Or do you just go to the church that should preach you, God will make a way for you? That should preach you, God will bless you? They should preach God who's going to bless you. No. We are here preparing ourselves for the coming of Messiah. Somebody say amen. It is a time where we need to stop church playing. It is a time we need to stop religion playing business. It is a time we need to stop playing and focus on Messiah. Because Jesus is coming soon. Somebody say amen. We are living a life of competition. We are living life. I want to be this. I live on to be there. I want to have this. And here therefore want us to keep on being attracted on that. Why we lost the real purpose. We lost the real purpose. The purpose is the kingdom of heaven. Therefore every believer. You should get ready. Preparing yourself. Because he can come anytime. Somebody say amen. The coming of Jesus is any time from now. It's any time from? Is any time from? You can drive, go outside, and he comes. How are you going to keep yourself watch during this moment? Number one, keep your lamp burning. Let your lamp remain burning. The Bible says, if you go Matthew 25, after I finish to describe, he say, the kingdom of heaven will be like 10 virgins. They were all virgin. They went to wait for the master. Just like they were all members of the church. But among those 10 virgins, five were wise five were foolish. How are you going to keep yourself watch during this moment? Number one, keep your lamp burning. Let your lamp remain burning. Number two, be in a waiting mood. In a waiting mood, in a waiting room. Number three, Cry out, Hosanna. Come and save us. Come and save us, Lord. Because we are surrounded with the world of evil. Number four. Feed yourself daily 
with the word of God and keep watch in prayer. Five, he has very important, I want you to capture this, live at peace with everyone and live a pure and a holy life. Number six, be at work. Let him come and find you. You are at work. Be at work. Let him find you are worshiping. Let him find you are serving. Let him find you are evangelizing. Let him find you. Let be at work. The second last one. Use your time wisely. The last point. Number eight. Keep your faith in Jesus. Luke chapter 18 verse 8 says this. I tell you he will see that you get justice and quickly. However, when the son of man comes, will he found faith on the earth? Keep your faith in Jesus.